cat and mouse. A wise leader knows when to follow. Okay, right off the bat, you hear this voice. An impenetrable defense. Separate ships blockade the resource-rich planet of Christophsis. And as a kid, you're like, what the f***? What is this? What is this? I've never heard anything like this before. Trapping Senator Pale Organa and his relief effort. This guy is f***ing screaming at me like he needs to get this information out. Under the command of Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker, must break the impasse. And you know, as a kid, your parents f***ing scream at you. So it gets your attention easily. You hear this guy f***ing screaming and you're like, oh sh**. I think I should listen to this man. His message could be important. But time runs short for the senator and the good citizens of Christophsis. The way these little announcements are written too are like, they're kind of like the Star Wars crawl, like read out loud, if you think about it. So yeah, separatists are blockading this planet called Christophsis, which kind of sounds like the word crystal, because there's like crystal looking sh** everywhere. Even the buildings are crystals. So it sticks to your brain easily, especially as a child. The planet is even like cracked and fragmented from orbit, like kind of representing the fractured and chaotic fucking state of everything going on. Jimmy Smith needs help, man. Bell Organa is always fucking going around helping people in Star Wars. He just shows up out of nowhere. You could be fucking dying in some Sith tomb somewhere and this dude would just fucking materialize out of nowhere. Did you see Jimmy Smith in there? Yeah, yeah, that was cool. Admiral Yalaren, that guy from A New Hope over there, yeah, that guy sitting right, right in there, he looks really nervous. And Anakin Skywalker are teamed up in this episode, and they're kind of like getting their asses beat a bit. And it's revealed that they're getting their asses beat by a fucking spider, but they don't know that. We're gonna blow right past this guy, whoever he is. They have no fucking idea who they're fighting, but he's really good. Separatists are just kind of good at blockading things and Anakin's in charge here, but he's not exactly Mr. Chiss when it comes to fleet strategy, you know? So they're playing tug of war with this eight-armed alien spider guy when Obi-Wan finally shows his ass up to help, talks some shit about Anakin and criticizes his decisions behind his back, then hails him and claims he's got some kind of new toy that might give us an advantage. So Anakin needs to retreat and meet up. He actually listens and they all hide behind the Christopher's moan. We're then shown something that's pretty rare in the Star Wars universe. It's a stealth ship. Yeah, f***ing stealth technology in Star Wars. The Federation is in its pants now. But this isn't a fully fledged combat ship. It's a prototype. This is an important asset for these Star Wars people and they can't waste it. Naturally, Anakin wants to use it to take on the whole fleet, the whole goddamn fleet. It's a pretty small ship to destroy a whole fleet. Are there more? No. Right now, I'd be like I'd take on the whole empire myself. I know what you mean. This scene kind of perfectly represents how Anakin and Obi-Wan are like polar opposite. I need you to run a mercy mission down to the planet's surface. The ship can carry enough supplies for Senator Organa's headquarters. Oh, I'm still the delivery boy? Obi-Wan is very defensively minded. Anakin just wants to blow everything the fuck up. <laughs> this isn't that long after Attack of the Clones, like, only like a few months. So he's still kind of prematurely cocky. You can't win, but there are alternatives to fighting. It's more important to save lives than destroy ships. Yularen gets bad f***ing vibes from their opponent, so he goes to look him up on the, the inner holonet. Yeah, that's what they call it. He basically reverse image searches the logo on this guy's hull. People in Star Wars love putting logos and shit on their hulls on the capital ships and whatever. He discovers it's Admiral Goddamn Trench. He's dealt with this guy before. Dude realizes they're basically dealing with a goddamn tarantula here and they're about to be caught on his web. Even Anakin knows who he is and he's dumb as shit. The last time I saw that symbol, well, let's just say I lost a lot of good men that day. They had to bring in Jedi before to bring this guy down. That's like getting max stars on GTA, man. Jesus. I smell fear. And it smells good. This dude has probably committed many war crimes. He just doesn't give a fuck. 
But there's one thing that's odd about this story. Trench's ship was destroyed, and we assumed he went down with it. They thought this guy died. No! But he didn't. They're gonna need some raid. But it's not their mission to kill Trench. Anakin will surely listen to Obi-Wan's instructions. It's kind of cool how they cloak, too. It's like a submarine kind of thing. It's really awesome. They're going to hit us! 500! And it seems to work. I cannot calculate. Spider-Man gets f***ing tired of waiting for the Republic fleet, hiding behind the moon of Christmas. We need to add some pressure. So he decides to bomb the shit out of Bail Organa. But Bail Organa is obviously not killed through the shield of cannon. I'm sure, though, that many innocent Christoph Christ Christians were back here, though. There's little chance of survival. Help us, General Kenobi. You're our only hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Obi-Wan's ass starts getting puckered, and he decides he's just gonna attack the shit out of Trench with his own fleet. General Kenobi, with all due respect, you do not have the resources to engage Trench openly. Probably not a good idea. You won't stand a chance. Anakin is supposed to just continue with his little useless relief mission? Obi-Wan just kinda doesn't give a f and decides to roast Anakin. Anakin, I've got enough problems without you becoming one of them. They're not in very good roles here. The opposite of what they should be, in fact. So Anakin decides he's gonna flip the script. He's gonna kill this spider. What? He's gonna kill the f***ing sh** out of this spider. Yeah. I think we all kind of know that piloting is an arena Anakin is crazy familiar with. He's indisputably the best pilot in Star Wars. So this dude is f but he doesn't realize it yet. Fire a spread of lasers! Everyone shits their pants on this part because if this were any other Star Wars pilot, they'd f***ing fail. This is like a quick time event only Anakin can do. Even the alarm is like, what the f***, how? While it's badass, it gives away information to this crawly bitch. Yes. He thinks he's got it all figured out now. We are dealing with the Jedi. So now there's only one thing left to do. Talk shit over the holonet. Turn back now. Retreat while you can. Or I... Hello, ugly. But Trench has dealt with stealth before. Then he knows a way of detecting us. Tracking torpedoes. They're nothing but flies to him, especially since they're a smaller ship, right? Trench has only fought bigger ships that had stealth, though, cruiser to cruiser. What class ship was he fighting? Mostly cruiser to cruiser, nothing as small as your ship. Well, no ship this small usually has a cloaking device. No ship that small has a cloaking device. But Anakin knows. He fucking knows how he's gonna, how they're tracking their invisible stealth thing. Magnetic signature. At this point, it's just a matter of piloting, and whose arrogance will win out? The cat or the mouse? These missiles are a really clever distraction, and this dumb has to lower his shields to be able to even do anything. We cannot fire unless we lower our shields. Fire! Man, Star Wars ships f***ing suck. But he makes himself vulnerable and messes up horribly. He basically gets super goddamn greedy and pays for it. Mouse is one. The cat, spider, defeated. Jimmy Smith saved. And Christ redeemed. But not really. Because the abomination of the Clone Wars movie is right around the corner.